Um, Brooks and Murray sort of interact with each other today. I've always liked Murray, you know, watching him play. He's very tidy, good on the ball, uh, but has had limited opportunities. Camp goes forward again. That's good defending, and now there's an opportunity for Smith to come forward for Ultraman. And that's a good ball out towards the right-hand side. And Ultraman well in behind here. Ethan Ross goes out towards the left-hand side. Ogle plays back in field. It comes to Colclough. Colclough turns Brooks. Still got the ball, Colclough. Nice one-touch play in field. And it's going to come. Oh, it's unlucky. This is first touch. Not quite the way he wanted it. And Ultraman have got a chance now to hit on the counter. And if they get the ball right, they could be three on three. Still holding on to the ball at the moment. Eventually, Niall Bell was pulling out wide to the left-hand side. He's chosen the wrong ball to the right. And uh, it was clearly offside there, unfortunately, from an Altrincham point. He um, had a little rush of blood, which is unlike him. It's a good ball forward from Altrincham. Colclough's touch is a good one. And now they've played it out towards and will try and release Weymouth Custodian. And now Mensa and Harfield. There's a lot more like the Weymouth we know, isn't it, Ben? They're really comfortable in possession in midfield, moving it around the, the back four. Good turn there, and then Bell takes over and shifts the ball again to the right-hand side. Just watching Mooney just hanging around on the left-hand side. That's a ball looking for Ogle. Ogle. Good ball forward again, this time to Smith. Laid off to Bell, heavy touch from Bell. Altrincham doing a good job themselves of keeping possession before Robinson steps in and now Shields successfully and Colclough, it was a lovely ball to release him. Brooks is getting back at him. Colclough now heads towards the corner of the area. He's got support in the form of Ogle and then back in towards Colclough. Colclough goes down, no foul according to the official and Robinson for a lot of space on the right-hand side but he was ignored this time. Now he picks up the ball he's going to try oh I thought he was going to try and turn it around the corner to Brooks good defending from Aldrin and forcing Cameron Murray back that's very good from the Robins Sean Williams with egg on his face but he did well to control it and bring it out towards the uh, towards Ogle sorry and then Cole Clough picks it up just five yards in from the touchline goes up towards the byline throws a dummy creates himself half a yard good work from Cole Clough his delivery though straight up to the head of Harfield and it's picked up by Senior yeah, good, good start to the game so far. Brooks closed down well by Colclough, and it goes all the way back to Ross. Mensa's in space if he wants to use him, and he does. But you've just got to be patient, and, and best ways to get around the sides of teams who are thick and in the middle of the park up like that. Well, Calvin Brooks wanted that played in front of him by Brennan Camp, but he did very well to come out of it in the first place. And the Ultraman fullback there has done an excellent job of preventing the corner. Good work from Bowman, a little push to stop him getting up. And now McCoy in the centre circle does well to find Murray. Brooks is ahead of him. And now here is Brooks. Murray opted. So there's, a, there's an exchange of passing on and it's that moment that you release the ball and you've made 10 yards so um yeah hence why I'm I'm I'm, I'm saying I'd love to be updated as the afternoon goes on a good friend of mine Pete Pavey requested that a couple of weeks ago and we're more than happy to oblige well one in midfield and, a, and he's just caught off the ball there slightly Mr Colclough I think it was an accident but the ball you know when they're on the right hand side altering them is to do that switch from left to right so um yeah Calvin Brooks's positional uh, setups really for a cross finds half a yard it does come in headed clear Robinson trying to keep it alive at the edge of the box but well, that one's easy it'll be stabbed clear and it's going to go straight through to Brennan Camp inside the way in the path and a, 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 an attempt to close him down just to position himself and Smith does a good job of picking the pocket of McCoy and then Brennan Camp go does on. a very good job of picking the pocket of Niall Bell did the right decision to to take it out left but um yeah I think he's at that stage of his career now where actually he can do a lot more going forward. Oh, McCoy breaks in the box there and he goes down under pressure. He's out. Uh, I believe that was Malarkey. Oh. Now not given that John Mordock was asking for as Cole Clough goes around the outside and that one will be given as Calvin Brooks stood his ground and it's a free kick to Altrincham. And I always look down when these decisions on to Bromley at home in the playoff chase there. So things still shaping up in the exciting climate to the season at the top end. Foul on Cole Clough, uh, Cole Clough in the 
just inside his own half, 10 yards back, and Altrincham are going to have another chance to build from here. He plays it straight to his captain, Malt, Jake Malt, just coming inside, looking for the <laughs> stadium roof, and that's it. Shields with the corner a second time. Williams at the front post does manage to win the header. Murray Murray somehow managed to beat Colclough in the air, and it was an overhead. Forward and pushing Robinson on, almost creating an extra play in the midfield. He's good enough. Uh, um, yeah, just like the same, open his legs up with the ball. Well, the two players just uh, connected there, and they release Brooks on the right-hand side. Murray's touch gives it to Dallas. Dallas is tripped by Colclough at the edge of the penalty area, and Weymouth are going to have a free kick and another excellent opportunity to pop the ball in. Jordan Angarlo is doing quite a picks it up again. Now McCoy. Murray with a, a, a back flick to Brooks. Brooks takes a touch. It bounces off of the Ultraman player and down to the goalkeeper. With all this rain falling, John, and as we're appreciate appreciate it as non-league, part-time clubs and local clubs, we all like to look after each other. And I did say that I would mention this a couple of times on commentary and I'm proud to do so as Brooks wins the ball back for Wayman. Ball club. Now Kolkla goes back again and finds Malaki. Malaki, I think we'll put that one down as unorthodox but effective. <laughs> well, one in the air there by Kirby, and it goes all the way back again now to Malaki. He's going to square it to his captain Malt. Right footed clearance forward, looking for Ogle. Ogle does very well to keep that in play and he's going to get Colclough moving. Colclough then looks like he was tripped off the ball. I think that one may have been a free kick, but the referee, the referee may have had a few seconds on for that injury to Colclough. Back down the line, headed clear, and Colclough does a good job of stepping in, but can only present the ball to McCoy. And there is the half-time whistle, and it's, and it's going to allow uh, Williams to just bring that out for Altringham. And now here they are on the front foot. Good ball, looking for Bell with the outside of his right foot. He's got Mooney in support and here Kirby Kirby looking for options Robinson just shielded and McCoy as well eventually it comes back out to Senior and Shields goes to close him down Senior steps away from him though poor ball around it Weymouth only leaving Dallas forward it's going to be Colclough this time right footed in towards the area off the head of Mensa stabbed away by Murray only falls as far as Williams and he spreads it out back out to Mooney Mooney left footed, it was a good idea, but straight to Josh McCoy. And then McCoy plays it straight against Kirby, and it's given Colclough an opportunity for a strike and a goal, and a fantastic strike from Colclough. But it was a mistake from Weymouth to give the ball away. And Altrincham in the 50th minute are level. It's Weymouth 1, Altrincham 1. Yeah, the young man's got ability, so you give him a chance, and he's going to take it. He, you know, he had a great first half, and he's, he's got half a yard due to the, the, pay, the player breaking down, and he's just unleashed a cracker across Ethan Ross Tremendous and a, effort. yeah great strike and yeah Altrincham's level so a good start to the first half by Altrincham uh, Weymouth have just been you know Tony Thompson's going to get a chance to have a, a touch early in the second half good ball from him as well out towards the left hand side Camp steps in and wins the ball there was a foul on Camp but the referee's playing an advantage players competing honestly um, yeah it's been, it's been good there's been lots of those bad Battles around the pitch. Kelvin Brooks just got himself into trouble and conceded the throw in. Bell looked as if he may have been fouled by Brennan. So I don't know if, you know, with Moody, if they're freshening it up or getting a, looking to get a bit more energy on the pitch. In response, Weymouth has just called a couple of substitutes down from the. Matured for both sides, so um, yeah, anything can happen at this stage. I certainly think we're into a, a relatively exciting conclusion as. On that occasion, the ball's played straight against. Yeah, I thought Brooks might have been a bit braver there. Looked like a foul, foul throw as well. But it certainly did, but not given. And that's a long diagonal, and that's a very good ball out towards Cosio. Cosio's got dropped off five yards and picked the ball up. It's very, very sensible. And here they come, and they've got an opportunity to spread the ball out towards the right-hand side. But instead, they do the sensible thing and find the cap will make its way to Senior, who had made that break just a second ago, unseen by his teammate. Good ball forward in towards Hancock, the substitute. Hancock gets it back from Colclough. Brennan Cab does a fantastic job to make some real... Murray in the box. Right, Dallas, sorry to interrupt you, And it's going to come back out again. And I think Colclough should complete his clearance this time. Bit of a heavy touch, but he will clear it. And then Hancock can't control it and Mensa will tidy up. Sorry, John. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing uh, Brennan, Camp, whoever's moving forward. Um, but yeah, we just seem to be sort of loosening our 
ingenuity, you know? We've got no... We're running out of ideas, and you could put... Williams is going to take it up for Oldringham. It looks like... There is a player down there receiving instructions, John, but his, yeah, his head is right in front of the dugout, and I can't quite see who it is. Is it Leslie Smith? I think Pierre... The visitors, and they spread it out to Cole Clough, who got their goal early in the second half. He's one-on-one -on -one with Harfield. He steps in field, and he's just overrun it slightly, so Robertson can stab clear, and Andy Dallas does a tremendous job of in the second half. Williams... Out towards Colclough. Colclough does have options and senior behind him. And instead he drives towards the byline and he overhits his cross. That's unlucky. And it goes behind for a goal kick. Yeah, it's off Robinson to Smith. And Smith spreads it out to Colclough. And senior is going to go round him. Colclough then releases to senior and he gets his pass all wrong. All wrong, Colclough. And for a player who's had a good afternoon in midfield. Hancock now out towards Colclough. Colclough puts it ahead of him, Harfield didn't bite and Kolkoff gets to the byline, does get across him but Mensa, expertly positioned, stabs it clear, Senior keeps it alone but because Oldringham retained possession, the referee was happy to play on Senior turns it down the line to Kolkoff who then back heals it and Senior continues his run and he gets ahead of Harfield and Fonku and then finds a ball to, oh it was in acres of space on the left hand side and the poor ball from Dixon just allowed Oldringham to win the ball back and there's a, a foul off the ball there. Andy Robinson has been bundled over where the 91st minute. The board's going up to see how long Weymouth have to hold on. Four minutes is the conclusion. Colclough stabs it forward towards Hancock, who just went in the book. Hancock. Just Sean Shields in the wall. Just Andy Dallas forward for Weymouth. Here comes the delivery from Colclough. He's right-footed. Over the head of Mensa, it's dropping around in the box. Mensa has to clear, and Andy Dallas now stays forward. Malaki does well to win the header and find Hancock out to Colclough, the goal scorer. He takes a touch, delivers it into the box off the head of Mensa. It's up in the air. Dixon gets there, stabs it clear. It's going to drop at the edge of the box to Senior. 